Hi, Lindsay. How's it going? Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. Uh, this is Glenn again, and we're in our radiology division right now, and with us today is Miss Lindsay Heckler. Hi. Say hi, Lindsay. Hello. And she is our fellow sonographer, technologist, which uh, name would call you guys, uh, sonographer or technologist? Uh, I think a lot of people just refer to us typically as ultrasound technologists. Um, the fancy word is sonographer, but most people just say, hey, you're the ultrasound tech, right? <laughs> okay. Well, well, thank you for having us. Of course. And thank you. Uh, Lindsay is here to give us a tour of the ultrasound room and to answer uh, some common questions uh, they get asked uh, every day during their job. So, Ms. Lindsay, can you give us a tour of the ultrasound room? Sure. So, every ultrasound room is pretty much a mirror of itself. In every room you will find as you walk through the door, we have our ultrasound machine. We have a stretcher for the patient. You may even see along with the ultrasound machine directly close to the bed that we may have another machine in the room. Uh, and sometimes these extra machines allow us to do different types of exams or even research. So you may see those in the room. We also have multiple transducers, sometimes even on the wall. Above the patient bed here, we also have a heater you'll see on the ceiling, which is great for patients when they want to be comfortable, especially some of our younger babies who helps them actually hold a real still and stay asleep for us. We also have a TV that allows our patients to be able to have something to watch, keep them entertained and distracted. Helps the time go by a lot faster. And then behind us in every room we have a workstation. This workstation allows us to begin and end our exam in the room. Also pull up prior exams to look at if we need to during the exam. We have a gel warmer on the counters. These you will see pretty much in every room and that actually helps warm our gel bottles up and we'll talk more about that in a little bit. We also have our cleaning supplies and then we have our sink here that where we wash our hands before and after the exam and then usually in every room you'll see this how do I get my results board and this allows us to remind parents and also give them something to take with them about how they get their results. Okay well thank you for showing us a give us a tour of the room that's very uh, informative for us. So are you ready to give us some answers to some questions? Yeah that sounds great. Okay first question is how will we get our results? So just like we talked about that little form that we can have how to view your radiology test results and images and the very first place that most people are going to go to is the children's my chart account and that is going to allow you to see all your results as well as your exam images. With ultrasound, typically you should see them as soon as they get put in. So depending on the day, usually if your exam was in the morning, you should see the results by the afternoon. Um, in some instances, your pediatrician would be the other person or your primary care doctor to follow up with. We usually say within 24 hours they should be able to follow up with you about the results. Okay. Why gel? So, like we talked about before with the ultrasound warmer, the gel warmer on the counter, we use gel in order to put on the cameras to let the sound beam go into the body. Ultrasound can't see through air, and the only way we can get a good picture is to actually use ultrasound gel. We could use water, but that would make a mess, and we could use thicker things like lotion, but that sometimes would make a mess too. The gel is really nice because it's hypoallergenic, water-based, and it's pretty much just a thick gel. Okay. So, why do I have to drink for my ultrasound? So, sometimes different types of ultrasounds that we need to do require different prep. And with that, we have to look at different organs. So, if you're doing a kidney ultrasound or maybe a pelvis ultrasound where we have to see the uterus and ovaries, we need to have a full bladder so we can evaluate those structures better. So, we ask that you please drink the recommended amount of fluid prior to coming and arriving for your ultrasound. We really don't want you drinking it out in the waiting room because it may not give your body enough time to get down to your bladder. So usually we have to drink and finish those fluids before you arrive. So that way, when your appointment time is, we can get you and your exam can go a lot quicker. Why could I not eat or drink anything before my ultrasound? So the same as having a full bladder, sometimes we need you to do the opposite and not have a full bladder to eat or drink anything in order to evaluate certain structures. A lot of times you can't eat or drink before your ultrasound because we need to evaluate the liver and the gallbladder and areas up in the upper abdomen that if you ate, it would actually have a, give us a harder time seeing those structures. So when you don't eat, we're able to 
see those organs and get a really good exam and a diagnosis hopefully for your pediatrician or your doctor, whatever we're trying to answer. Okay. So can I use or have my cell phone with me or like take a picture of the ultrasound? Sure. We're fine with you guys having your cell phones with you. Um, the biggest thing I just want to refer to is this sign that we have um, in all of our rooms across the ultrasound department as well as radiology is we just really ask that you ask your technologist first if it's okay that you take a picture and have them included in it. Um, I know for myself a lot of times I, I don't mind having families take a picture of their child having an ultrasound, but I, sometimes I ask as if they could just leave me out of the picture and I would appreciate that. Okay. Um, does it hurt having an ultrasound? So ultrasound is probably one of the easiest exams you can have. I know sometimes it can be scary. Our room is typically usually a lot darker, but what I like to always say is, showing my ultrasound machine here with my cameras, that each camera has a different use, but they're really soft. Nothing goes in, nothing comes out. It's really soft on the surface, and there's no ouchies or anything like that. And last question, is there any radiation involved? So ultrasound has no radiation at all. We may be around x-ray and radiology, but ultrasound itself has no radiation at all. It's all sound waves. All right. Well, thank you for your time and, uh, and giving us a tour of the area and answering our question. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye.